by our ghost story. This is a real-life enigma that has baffled investigators and fueled speculation for over six decades. Buckle up, folks, because we're about to descend into the rabbit hole of the Diet Law Pass. It all began in January 1959, when a group of ten intrepid hikers, led by Igor Dyatlov, embarked on an ambitious trek through the northern Ural Mountains. Their destination, the ominous peak of Kolat Syakal, also known as the Mountain of Death. These weren't your average weekend enthusiasts. They were seasoned outdoorsmen, members of the prestigious Ural Polytechnical Institute Ski Club. They were prepared for the harsh conditions, or so they thought. Their journey started smoothly, documented in cheerful diary entries and photographs. But on the night of February 2nd, something went terribly wrong. Their campsite, nestled on the slopes of Colet Syakal, was discovered abandoned, the tent slashed open from the inside. The hikers' belongings were scattered, some ripped or singed. Footprints led away from the tent, deeper into the unforgiving wilderness. What made them flee their shelter in the dead of night, scantily clad and barefoot? Were they chased by some unseen terror? Did they succumb to a tragic accident? The answers, buried beneath layers of snow and conflicting theories, remain elusive. This is where the internet sleuths come in, with a plethora of theories vying for explanation. Did an avalanche strike, forcing them out in a panic? Was it hypothermia, their judgment, clouded by the biting cold? Some even whisper of infrasound waves, emanating from nearby military testing, driving them to irrational fear. Others point to encounters with Monsi tribesmen, perhaps angered by their intrusion into sacred lands. But the most unsettling theory involves a possible encounter with something otherworldly. Strange glowing orbs reported in the region around the same time add fuel to the extraterrestrial fire. A massive search party combed the mountains for weeks, finally recovering the bodies of the nine hikers scattered across the slopes. They bore the marks of trauma, some with fractured skulls, others with internal injuries, none with visible external wounds. The official investigation concluded exposure and hypothermia were to blame, but doubts lingered. Classified documents, later released, hinted at something more sinister, fueling the flames of speculation. To this day, the Diet Law Pass incident remains one of the most perplexing mysteries in mountaineering history. The lack of definitive answers only amplifies the intrigue, leaving space for endless speculation and armchair investigations. The allure of the unsolved, the chilling details, and the unsettling atmosphere of the Ural Mountains have cemented the Diet Law Pass incident as a legend, a cautionary tale, and a captivating enigma that continues to grip our imaginations. So, dear viewers, what do you think happened on that fateful night in the Urals? Share your theories in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation alive. Don't forget to subscribe for more mind-bending mysteries and unsolved cases. Until next time, stay curious, stay safe, and never underestimate the power of the unknown.